I just had one of those days where like my notebook saves my life. <laughs> I think you all know that I keep a uh, a spreadsheet, like a computer Excel sheet that goes back and forth between me and my coach, Alberto Nunez. Um, but I also keep a like a spiral in my workout bag at all times. And I, I'll give you all a look. See, here we go. I just finished, so that's why like I'm chilling here in my car. Um, yeah, so this one started in September, right, right after my powerlifting meet. Calm down, have fun, because I was like overly structured, and um, I just wanted to play now. I don't know, I have like stupid things like, yeah, like here, oh, I need to black that out. But it says like, if you find me, give me back, please, and that's my phone number under there. But anyways, um, the general warm-up that he gave me when we first started the program. Um, oh, I need to update this. This was my, as of September 25th, this is when I started the program. Um, like what my estimated one arms were. I've actually tested since, so I need to update that. And then I just start writing it, right? And like, um, actually today I have a check-in. So I'll be, um, sending it, I'll have to get it from, transfer from the notebook into my computer. But yeah, so this is my, my notebook. And like, for example, today... Oh, I didn't weigh in because I woke up absurdly early. Like, literally at, like, 5.30. I usually wake up at 11. <laughs> like, 11 a.m. I woke up at 5.30 for no good reason. But I wanted to come work out. So, I didn't weigh in because I would have been, like, obviously super heavy because I only slept, like, four hours. Um, and I don't think that's productive for my brain. And it's, like, a... It would be, like, an outlier. And it wouldn't be, like, a... Like, data that contributes to really what's going on. You know? So, I didn't weigh in. But I always put, like, which gym I was at. And, like, today, I had barbell... I started with front squats because it was so early. And this 3 by 155 felt like complete shit. But, thank God I have a notebook because then I just looked back and was like, well, what's the most I've ever done? And I went back to my testing day from last time. I'll show y'all. And I found this, and I was like, 165 for 4. So, I'm like, in my brain, I'm like, okay... The first set felt like shit. Actually, my last warm-up this morning felt like shit. Didn't sleep much, whatever, whatever, but I'm like, fuck, this feels heavy. Let me go back. And I look at this number, 165 for four, and I'm like, dude, come on. Like, grow a pair. Not really, obviously, but I'm like, this is this is dumb. Quit being a pussy, let's go. And then the set, like, immediately a switch goes off in my brain, and I'm like, fuck yeah, I can do this. And then I finish it. So... Aside from me being, like, super anal and, like, I realize kind of OCD with my tracking, um, and I probably don't need a notebook and a spreadsheet, but it's really handy to have at the gym. Like, even though I can look through my phone into my Dropbox and find the spreadsheet, but I like having the tangible, like, flip through it here. And I also, like, write little notes in my notebook, too, like, felt like shit or, like, didn't weigh in because or, like... Um, like here, Henley Rose, like, yeah, I did multiple reps, but I put, like, one clean rep at 115, like, just so I know that, like, I probably could have, I did more. Um, and, like, here, coach ordered me to take two days off, um, in, like, why? You know what I mean? So, and all that, like, doesn't really fit in the cells of the spreadsheet, but it's valuable for me to have, so I have, like, all these notebooks at home. But, um, moral of the story, keep track of your shit. But for me, I overtrack it for situations like today, like when I can use myself as a personal reference of like, you're being a little bitch, so let's go. That's all. So Matt's almost burning the house down making these chicken breasts, but you'll have to see how giant these are. Look at this. Matt is not messing around. I'm scared to open it. Is it gonna fly out at me? Look at that. Oh my gosh. They're so fucking huge. Holy shit, I'm burning. Something. That's what she said. Oh I, you know what it is? I think because the fat's dripping to the back. Oh, you know what I mean? It? Like on that last one. Oh, my, oh yeah, because it's all... It's, it, this this one right here is so big that I can... Look at how fucking huge those breasts are. Again, that's what he said. Look at that one. These are huge. <laughs> Where's my... Uh, <laughs> oh my god. Make sure these are at a healthy temperature. Dudes, this is our friend Lauren. She's jacked. And B's gonna film her pulling these tires. 
Or not film her, he's gonna take pictures of her. Say hi, Lauren. <laughs> What's up? What is that? It's my it's my camera. That's badass. Hello. Yeah, dude. Can I look at her back real quick? Sorry. She's she's legit. What do you squat? Let's talk about that. Two forty five. Okay, what Two, about I haven't I can probably have it on my okay. tonight. Bench. Bench? Oh god, I don't know. I've only done one thirty five, I haven't gone more than that. Ten lifts. Three fifteen. I'm looking for three hundred this year. I'm trying. What's your favorite lift? Squats. Squats. Word. Mm -hmm. What about you? Uh, I think deadlifts now. Dead just recently, because I just figured it out. Just recently. I used to be dead. Yeah? Do you conventional or sumo? Conventional, me too. I like this girl, you guys. I like her. Ready? I'm the holder. So the wind doesn't take it. I was talking to Hercules. Get it, girl. Okay, dudes. So, while the car is warming up, um, I got news. Prep, like, prep news, like, program news. Um, I'm checking yesterday, and I get... 20 more grams of carbohydrate every day. That means that on non-lifting days, I currently now get 30 fat, 180 carb, 130 protein. And then on lifting days, I get 30 fat, 210 carb, and 130 protein. So all that changes is the carbs on those days, if you didn't notice. Um, that's, since I began, um, competing in 2011, that is the most food I've ever eaten per day. Granted, this is also, I don't want to say the heaviest I've been, because a few months ago, I was a few pounds more, but, um, so, still sitting in the 138 pound range, but food is super high, for me, anyways, um, and I talked to Coach about kind of what the plan is and, and why we're doing what we're doing and things of that nature. And he said that our plan, is, he still thinks that I'll probably lose some weight, which he might be right. Um, even with the, these higher amounts of food because he thinks I was having a hormonal blip last week. Because it was supposed to be um, that time in the cycle, if you know what I'm saying. Granted, that didn't happen that actually is very spotty with me um and a lot of other female competitors um had battling some amenorrhea for quite some time so um yeah what else is i gonna tell you? oh so we talked about how we're doing more food not like to rev the metabolism because it's gonna go as fast as it's gonna go um just to have more food to take away from when prep starts and we also decided that prep actually will start the day after Christmas um, the reason for that is we're gonna try to get ready early because luckily my coach knows me well enough now and I'm learning about myself that I stress out very easily not stress like oh my god what am I gonna do like um mental worry causes fucked up things to happen with my body um lack of rest and it's not and the the thing is i don't feel tired i don't feel overworked i don't feel stressed out like all those things that in your brain like are signals of it i don't feel any of that but it's weird berto will be like hey dude take a weekend off you've been training like a lot of days in a row like chill for two or three days and then I'll have a period or something. And then I'll start losing weight. You know, um, things like how every, mind you, I've been a competitor in some sort my whole life. But every time we would, we go into like um, a week or two before whatever show I'm about to do, I end up, without changing food, 
we could still be like 10 days from the show i start to not only hold weight but sometimes gain a little bit um and again competition like excites me it doesn't like scare me but it's funny how he's noticing um that any tiny bit of change in my habits anything that could be exciting even like a like you stress like a good stress um causes weird things to happen so that being said um we're gonna prep early hopefully if i still want to compete in june hopefully we can be ready by like beginning of may and then he thinks it'd be better to like coast into the shows and eat into the shows if that makes sense so make the hardest part of prep like six weeks before not the hardest part but that last bit of fat like be stage ready like six weeks before the stage and then maybe feed me into the show so it's maybe less stressful and I can respond a little better so I'm like in recovery mode then so anywho more food early prep um I think that's it for the news it's just gonna be he also knows too how much we're gonna be traveling lately and that's gonna be kind of hard to manage but we'll do the best we can because that's all we can do right Hit our numbers, do our workouts the best we can, and um, yeah, have fun and live a good life. And.